Hi guys, as you probably noticed, the Blackmagic Design just launched the final version of the app of DaVinci Resolve for iPad Pro, and it is pretty amazing, with some limitation, but still pretty amazing. In this video I will quickly talk about my experience using the free version of DaVinci Resolve on the iPad Pro, the one with the M1 chip, while working on the super compressed H265 6K420 from the Lumix S1 that has a bitrate of 200 megabits per second. Talking about the interface of the app, it is pretty minimalist, but you can still do almost everything if you're going to create simple videos with some text, animation and some color grading. I know that some people aren't really happy to work just in the cut page of DaVinci Resolve, but once you get used to work with it, it's not too bad. In the color page you will have some of the features we are used to see in the full version of DaVinci Resolve, but at the moment we are missing some of the juicy stuff and hopefully they will come later with some updates. Talking about the performances of the M1 inside the iPad Pro, when working with the 6K video files inside the 4K timeline it can handle the files pretty well even if I add 4 or 5 nodes in the color page. Both the 3x2, 16x9 and anamorphic the squeeze video files have a super smooth playback without any hiccups, unless unless I start to add some animated text on top of the video clips. In this case, the playback is not going to be as smooth as before, actually going a little bit choppy, and this will also slow down the rendering time of the final file, and that's approximately 40%. And talking about the battery life, it's going down pretty fast while editing inside the DaVinci Resolve. I started to edit when the battery was at 34%, and after 30 minutes the battery was already at 10%. So you cannot really expect the same battery life you're used to have on the MacBook Air or the Mac. Book Pro. But anyway, if you are going to work on very compressed 6K video files without adding animated text on your videos but just a simple text, you will be totally fine with the iPad Pro with the M1 chip. But what do you think about this combination of uh, DaVinci Resolve on the iPad Pro? Would you use it a lot? I mean, would you work on an entire project from your iPad knowing that working from your MacBook is going to be much more comfortable. I think this combination of iPad Pro and DaVinci Resolve can be pretty handy if you work mostly as photographer and sometimes you do video editing because, I mean, it's convenient to edit your photos on the iPad because of the pen but it's not really convenient to do a lot of videos on the iPad Pro. For example, in my case that I mostly work with video, I will always choose the MacBook over the iPad Pro because on the MacBook I will have the full version of DaVinci Resolve with Fusion, the Firelight page and much more. I mean, the MacBook is much more convenient for filmmakers, but for hybrid content creators can make sense to use the iPad Pro. But anyway, here you have my experience and opinion of DaVinci Resolve with the iPad Pro. I hope that this video was helpful to someone of you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao guys!